Articulate Storyline provides a really nice review feature that learners can click on from their results slide like we see here. And it allows them to go back and see how they did on each question. And as you can see, it's going to show correct or incorrect across the bottom. And um, if you want to, you can also use this um, little indicator that shows which question they got right. That's all automated and Storyline can take care of that for you. Well, another thing is when you set up your question, you also have an option to include some additional feedback that displays during the quiz review. And that's what we've got right here. This little rounded rectangle that's red um, on my slide here is an example of some remedial information that I only want to appear during the quiz review. And I'll show you how to set that up in just a second. Well, an Articulate Storyline user asked a really good question. She was wondering if I do use that review feedback, what if I only want it to display if the learner got the question wrong? How do I keep it from displaying if they got the question right? Well, it's actually really easy to do. It just requires one trigger on your review layer. So let's back up here for a second and we'll show you how to set this up. So here's the base layer of my slide. And what I'm going to do is just open up my question editor by clicking on this edit button right above, above my trigger panel. And this is the form that I use to set up my question. So this is probably looking pretty familiar to you. Um, and in this example, it just so happens that I turned my feedback to none. But in your case, you might be using feedback you know, immediately after your question. And if that's the case, you would see some text down here in the correct and incorrect fields. And that's totally fine. What I wanted to draw your attention to is that there's also this additional field right down here at the bottom called Post Quiz Review. And this is where you can enter some text if you want something special to appear during the quiz review when your learners go back and see how they did on their quiz. So you can see I've entered some text here um, in this field and this is what I want to display during the quiz review. And now if we hit save and close, you'll notice that down here in the lower right in my slide layers pane, Storyline has created this review layer for me. And you might have a few other layers here as well, like if you're using correct and incorrect feedback or um, if you're using multiple attempts on a question, you'll also see a try again layer. And all of those are created by Storyline automatically, including the review layer. So what happens is the text that you entered in that post quiz review field on the question editor gets used on this layer. And initially, you might find that um, your layer doesn't look like this. Like I've customized things a little bit here. Um, I changed the color. It usually is a default blue color, and it's usually located here in the lower right corner of the slide. But that didn't work for me, so I just made some changes. It's really easy to do. This layer behaves just like any other layer. So you can even add you know, additional stuff on this layer if you want to. Um, mine's pretty simple. It just contains this rounded rectangle. So we've got our review feedback set up, but how do we make it display only if the learner got the question wrong? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this rectangle's initial state to hidden. Um, in other words, I'm going to open up my panel here below my slide and go to my states panel. And I'm going to use this initial state dropdown to change this to hidden because what my logic is, is I'm going to assume the learner is going to get the question right and they don't need to see this remedial information. But I'm also going to use a trigger to change the state of that box to normal if the learner does happen to get the question wrong. So all that takes is this simple trigger. So we're going to go over to our trigger panel and I'm going to click on this button to create a new trigger. And in the trigger wizard, I just tell Storyline what I want to have happen and when. So the action is we're going to change the state of that box. In this case, it's the caption right here. We're going to change the state to normal, not when the user clicks. We want it to happen when the timeline starts of this particular layer, which is called review. But the kicker is we only want it to happen under a certain condition, and that is if they got the question wrong. Well, I know what the right answer is. It's this second one, at least 20 seconds. So here's what I'm going to do for my condition. I'm going to add a condition, and we're going to choose shapes because the button is a shape. And I'm going to say, if that button is not equal to selected, that's the condition for displaying that layer. OK, so now if we preview this, we should see the right behavior. I'm going to get the question wrong at first. We'll go to review our quiz, and there's our remedial information. So that worked. And if we play it over again and we get the question right and review the quiz, then there's no remedial information showing up.